Gonna be an awesome game. Faz is looking amazing. Toxic is toxic. And here we go. Right off the start, rid ridiculous things are happening. Demon, what, what is happening right now? I don't know, they just ran at each other and uh, that's very terrible to Faz. Yeah, Faz is going down already two frags in the first 15 seconds after what was quite some ridiculous action at the spawns there. And typically when you spawn there, um, you have to, to listen and see if uh, the opponent's there as well. And uh, typically what you should do if you see that he is there, just go for the red and uh, the, the plasma. Plasma side is uh, yellow. It looks like Faz is trying to get the kill, like invest the frags and getting a kill before the next big item spawn. And they're just spawning now. Red, we can see it's up. We can see also Mega's up, but Faz gets the rail and dies though. And that means the, the Mega's going to go to Toxic. So after that really, really bad start, it feels like Faz is trying to make up for it by basically resetting control and not letting Toxic get into control. And I, I, interestingly, in Quake 4, that was kind of Toxic's thing, that he perfected the control game. So perhaps Faz is a bit scared of Toxic reaching 150, 150, 200, 300 kind of stacks. So being aggressive. Do you, do you agree with his aggressions? Yeah, because it worked, kind of. Like, he, he stole the red and he made enough damage that when Toxic took the, the Mega, it was just on, a, on a original health. So, and right now it's pretty even. Well, okay, not after this Mega, but... Like, he... Uh, it was an investment, what he did. he did. He did damage and then now he's trying to stack up. And I think now he's going to be slower. I know it's f he's, he knows it's four frags. Now I should be really careful about uh, dying. And yeah, he's being more silent. And uh, definitely. Oh, Toxic with a huge advantage there. That LG just gluing to Faz. And Faz steals the red, goes down. But he did actually... Uh, Faz did 200 damage there, so Yeah, he actually hit a lot. And, and he was the one pushed, so it's pretty amazing. Yeah, Faz <laughs> with a very innovative rocket jump there to steal away that yellow and get himself out of there. And tr basically, I guess, just to deny that yellow from Toxic because he, with the rocket jump, he's you know, kind of getting rid of most of it by you doing that. And now Toxic swinging around it. Faz just picked up the red armor. So Faz is actually kind of running circles around Toxic a little bit. He's just not found... He's just always been down on stack and weaponry. So it seems like if, if Faz can just catch a break, that he might actually be able to just turn this thing ar around here. But that's kind of the, the question. He needs to get those item times. He needs to start getting some stack and just a solid good fight now. And he should be laughing if he can achieve that. But it looks like Toxic is in a very safe place. He's just, oh, he's going to catch Faz with some nice LG damage. That's all for free as well. And Faz is going to be set back a, a good 30 seconds now on any aggression that he had planned. See Toxic peeping around there. And actually, it's going to be Faz that gets the better of him. Catching with some nice bits of damage there as he pushes Toxic away from that red armor. Toxic wants to get up these steps. He wants to get to that red. And it's all too late. Fans stole it away. So that's such an amazing yeah, play from That's fans. amazing because most of the players, they would, they would not even have tried their luck at this red. But, like, this is crazy. Like, he won the whole map right now. Yeah. Beautiful series of plays from Faz. Absolutely stellar work. First, denying that red armor throwing the timing off for Toxic on the Mega as well. So Faz was able to take both. Then working in the frag, then finding another one there as Toxic goes in for some aggression. Faz is really, really doing such an amazing job working back this deficit here. It's just three frags now to tie the game up. And there comes Toxic onto the next, uh, with the Plasma Gun, onto that Mega. And that's a really nice risk from Toxic, yeah. trying to go for that crazy plasma damage there. Almost making something happen, but Faz, he's got the item times. He's going to jump across in time for that red armor. And you can see that Toxic doesn't really have the weapons to punish Faz here. So Faz is in such a good place. If he can keep a very good kind of sense of the weapons that Toxic has, he can keep picking situations like this that really favor him. But eventually Toxic's going to get the weapons, and he's going to go for this close-range rocket yeah. fight, which is really the best he could have done. That and was a good read there. Because he knows uh, Toxic wants the weapons. And instead of going for the, the yellow, he, he knew... Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Painful. Oh, my God. There's grenades everywhere. And the Faz is going to have to work his way around. And that, that, that grenade actually set him back. If he can get this next round, no, he just missed it there. That would have been so huge to, to, to kind of mitigate some of the damage that that grenade... Those two grenades did to him. Because that... Not only did it do damage, but it completely threw Faz off on what he could take. And now Toxic's back on the map as far as items is concerned. And 
it looks like it's back to square one, but he has he's gotten the deficit down to one frag. Yeah. So Faz has done an amazing job really. Yeah, he scored up very quickly. And that's Faz, I mean. Like he Toxic is really very hard to get frags from him. But uh Faz can do it. Like he Oh, that's such good damage there from Faz. Very efficient. And Toxic is gonna be left with fifty-five points of health here. But Faz may feel like in the past, committed now that Toxic's so low to follow up aggression, and it's all about whether Toxic can survive with the little health that he has. And if he can weather that, then he's going to be in a good position. But it looks like actually he's going to just fall back and let Faz take the items. So, in actual fact, Faz dying there doing the damage actually could have just won in control, which is really, really awesome for Faz and not so awesome for Toxic now. As Toxic is trying to survive with. With, I mean, he's going to get these shards, so we should be able to get to 75 armor here, but, but Faz is much more stacked, and here he comes. Oh. Good read there from Faz on the position of Toxic. It really feels like uh, Faz is reading him quite well so far, but uh, after that, he's, he's just chasing back after that start still. That, that start, the damage that was done still hasn't really been recovered fully, and here goes the drop for that yellow. Great damage from Faz to, to counter it. Mega and Toxic can see it spawning, looking for the shot. Here's Faz above. Is he going to make it an attempt onto this Mega? Ooh, it's so hard for Faz to drop down, but he does do it. Oh and he hits the God. rail just before the pickup of the Mega. Clutch, clutch shot there from Faz. That's going to be so important now. I mean, it's three and a half minutes left in the game, and that rail may have just That's secured so him the game. A beautiful second follow-up rail there on the jump pad. Faz is looking so amazing right now. Uh, Toxic is going to be sweating because Faz is really getting close to getting that 200-200. He just needs the next Mega in 10 seconds. And what can Toxic do? That's a great direct there from Toxic. The Rockets are sublime from Toxic. Absolutely insane there. That has just turned the, the, the situation completely around. And oh my goodness, Toxic, instead of just going for the Mega, he takes a really terrible rocket and now things are going to even up and it's just a one frag difference. That could have been such a big advantage for Toxic. It could have been the end for Faz after it looked like it was a sure win for Faz. It's just everything's going a bit nuts at the moment here for the road to Dreamhack. And there's two and a half minutes left. Red is spawning in 10 seconds and Toxic, he's not looking super strong for it, but he's going to catch Faz with a railgun out and Faz switches to the LG there in a very timely fashion as Toxic's forced back, has to use the rail, hit, hits one shot, oh my goodness, that rail was, that rocket was so close, almost looked like a rail there, is it, is Toxic, <laughs> why would Toxic, that's, what was he doing in 5 health? I think he knew that, uh, that the Mega was up and uh. just wanted to have a, he knew he would die but he wanted to kill uh, Faz as well and gamble on the stone. That would be, uh, that's actually uh, a very, that's a lot of forethought for a very short amount of time. I mean, that's what Quake is, you have to think so quickly. And here comes Tox, uh, Faz rather, onto Toxic position, six health again, and uh, instigated by the full shotgun there. Uh, Faz. Faz looking really strong here, catches another one off the spawn. He's looking, his shape is seriously impressing me right now, a lot. I don't know how you're, you're feeling about yeah, yeah. Faz, but seriously, this is something else. And the same, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, I I don't remember him um, hitting so much and being so confident in hitting because yeah. he's, he's actually like when he's on the red uh, platform, he, he actually and toxic is down. He, he actually uh, goes goes for the fight and he and he drops and and still tries to shaft as well. So he's really confident with his aim. It's it's so important and <laughs> it's it's also going to help to the point about uh, players. Not necessarily getting worse as they get uh, as they get older in the execution, but it's equally possible to get better in the execution because reactions aren't really that important in this game. I mean, you, you can have a, let's say less than average reactions or above average, average reactions. It doesn't really make the difference. Everything else, the technique, it's the prediction, it's the experience, the insight, all these little things that make the difference. And Faz is looking great. He's got a two frag lead here. There's 30 seconds left. Toxic has to get crazy now. He's got to get really, really crazy if he wants to try to take Faz down. And it's so possible. Faz only has 50 armor. Here comes Toxic with a shotgun. It's crazy, but it's not crazy enough because Faz is still standing. And that's three frags he has now. And Toxic, it looks like Blood Run's going to be over. Beautiful little flick rail there. The flourish from Faz is, is so, so gorgeous to see in action. And 
it. He's done it. He's won blood, and it's his first map. And predicted a 2-0 for Faz, and it's really looking. I was a bit scared at the beginning, though. <laughs> yeah, I was as well, but I had confidence that he because, like you said, he's aiming so well. But uh, but also, like you said, the confidence. The confidence in which he's aiming is really the the important part because you need to really feel confident that you can go against Toxic in an aim fight. You have to feel that if you want to beat Toxic, you've got to feel confident that you can beat him in an aim fight. And Faz looks like he can do that. And if he's got that kind of confidence in his aim, we already know he's got the brain game down. So this is this is looking good for Faz and his shape. It's all going to be a question of whether or not he can get over these small mental glitches that perhaps we've seen from him in the past. Something that when we were casting him in the finals last weekend in the face at Sunday Cup, I think the sixth one of the full season, uh, we saw Rafa make a comment. He was, he was saying, you know, Faz, he gives away winning positions sometimes for, for you know, no... No reason, really. It seems like, apart from just maybe the, the stress of being in a in a high pace game, who knows? But Faz is looking really great. The, the countdown has begun once again. This is the second map. It's going to be two, sinister. One. Can but Faz do it again? He's very good at winning positions. So he's he's losing positions sometimes. Okay, but winning position is really a match. Like how he works with his grenades. We saw it in the last uh, the last map. It's really amazing. It's very true. It's also, I guess, why he's kind of renowned for making the amazing combat games because he's so good at just making stuff happen, and that's why people love to watch him. Why he's so exciting. Here comes Toxic onto the red armor. Oh, Faz is in a lot of trouble there. Toxic hits some really nice shots there, forcing Faz to some really, really bad positions. Very low health is Faz right now. Toxic knows it. How should Toxic capitalize on this though? He's definitely got the advantage when it comes to the stack. What do you think Toxic should do? I think Toxic is going to push in for the threat. Well, if he has um, some shaft mission anyway. Okay, he's just looking for damage. So he's not trying to contest it. It looked like he had to circle around for the shaft actually, so perhaps he, he didn't have that lightning gun. So yeah, it seemed like uh, that was really a great Th That's why he just wanted to make damage and not contest it. So now Faz is uh, roaming around. He's got a lot of armor to his name, 200. Hit that cap and... So far, he's shown us a lot of excitement. He's going to pick up this mega health, and he's really, really back now. So he could go for a, a just crazy balls out aggression. Let's see if he just settles on just picking up items for now, because it looks like Toxic's coming to him, in fact. So there is the lead taken by Faz. That's the one frag to the zero of Toxic. He was cool of gather. He didn't know where Faz was. Maybe he should have realized that Faz had, had uh, fallen. So. It is early days here on Sinister. And there is a great rail. Toxic has to survive until this red spawns. But oh, Faz runs out of ammunition, but just in the nick of time, he switches to the rocket, saves himself, goes straight for the... Oh, what, look at that That's dodge. So dangerous. Yeah, that nice dodge, dodge yeah. was beautiful from Faz right there. And Toxic right now has to try and again just whittle down the stack of fans because he's just building and building and Toxic can't directly challenge him for these items now. And oh. caught out in the open with a lightning gun. Faz is loving this. He grabs another frag and Toxic definitely is feeling a bit worse for wear at the moment. Two minutes in and already he's looking at a four frag deficit. He's going to come in aggressively into this into this red armor room but he's got Faz so low and he hits a beautiful rocket there. The splash damage was enough and Toxic is just winning his way back into some favorable positions here. But can he grab this mega? Not in time. Faz with two stellar rails there but Toxic has to back away now and Faz is going to be skipping away because I think he's actually quite happy with how that worked out stealing that mega and hitting two rails and now look at this here is the fight over the red armor Faz is looking for the shots and there's nothing Toxic can do beautifully played by Faz really beautiful I always feel like the commentary is starting to look biased because Faz is doing so many nice things. Yeah. There's like, if you keep highlighting it, you can sound biased. But seriously, you know, he's playing very, very well, uh, making very amazing plays, executing them very, very efficiently. And here comes the next, the next mega. And Toxic, oh. oh wow, Toxic just stole it. He just stole it, and that was the end of Faz. It's like his arms are slightly longer than Faz's or something because that was so close. And now Toxic is in a position to try and keep winning items, but he's got to make the right moves, the right guesses, because we've got the red and the mega in very close proximity. Toxic 
10 seconds left. We'll find Faz. Hits a rail on him. That's really important now because we've got the next two big items coming up. So now he's just got to make the read. What does Faz do? He knows Faz isn't confident to take an engagement. Faz wants to go for the item that Toxic isn't going for. So Faz. Oh, very Faz nice read by Toxic. Yeah. And beautiful. nice try by Faz as well. <laughs> Indeed, it's, it's, uh, it, it's so smart for Toxic to realize that Faz was looking to trick him and play that the, the point flip game on the big items. And great catch there, but Faz did some good damage. He can perhaps follow that up. And here he, here he goes. I don't know how Faz manages to just get on items sometimes and just throw rockets in your face. Because he keeps doing that to Toxic, just taking stuff just right out from under him and just landing rockets in his face afterwards. It seems very stressful for Toxic. Toxic, can he hold on to this red armor? Faz does back away. And there is Mega as well. So Toxic, he is returning to shape here. He's doing a great job getting himself back into this game. And Faz, with a nice rocket. did it again. <laughs> stole the item and landed the rocket. It's, uh, it's quite a pattern that's starting to emerge <laughs> with Faz. And Toxic, he didn't lose too much. He's going to go for the red now. And here is surely going to be the fight. And there appears Faz. And that is very beautiful there. That's something you see Cypher do a lot. Bit of damage and then get out of there. So it's for free. So that, that's such a strong play to, to consistently make. It also, not only, sh but psych psychologically speaking, it, it can kind of play into your into advantage a bit. Because you, you just got you just got completely surprised. And your opponent is taking off guard all the time. That plays uh, very strongly in the favor of Faz, who now is over at the red armor once again in the same spot as before it seems and toxic reads it <laughs> now he talks oh, about it yeah oh, oh and fast red as well and now we can probably steal the red now this is this is so awesome oh Oh, that was so old. Oh, beautiful, beautiful rail there. Finishes Faz off. That was really important there. He ties it up, in fact. And this, if he can just get the health in time and get back to the Mega. But Faz won't let him. Faz knows this was a window of opportunity for Toxic if he didn't pressure him. So that's exactly what Faz did. He put the pressure on. He didn't let Toxic have any space to breathe there. And he got the Mega. Faz and Faz just won the, the, the map control again. It, it was it was perfect perfect place from both players. They both made the, the exact moves that they had to make, and these guys are both really playing at a high level. It's it, it's uh, we can't really hold anything against Toxic. He's playing really really damn well, and I love the mind games that are going on. Like how Faz was ready for that through the teleporter. But look at this engagement. The Faz just kind of came out of nowhere again. Just rocket jumped straight into his face, and that is beautiful reading of the stack from Faz because he realized he can go super aggressive like that. Um, onto Toxic and, and take the frag then. And he's going to catch Toxic with some beautiful rockets. Toxic unable to really do any damage there. Toxic threw out the gamble there, hoping that maybe fans would miss the first rocket. If he had, then that would have allowed Toxic to justify that aggression. But because Faz was so good with his rockets in that occasion, the gamble did not work out for, for Toxic. So, so far, uh, both players playing at such a high level here. And Toxic going to drop down. And Faz is in good position. Faz is looking like he's he's trying to get into game winning kind of positions. If if Toxic can't stop him soon, it's gonna take a big mistake from Faz here. Unless Toxic does something in the next minute or so. Yeah, you know when Toxic goes silent like this is gonna Yeah. Make up a trap. And it kinda works, uh, I guess. Well Faz is still gonna be um stacked as fuck, but uh, at least he denied the um, the two hundred two hundred there so Picking up that red armor is really going to make him very, very tough to deal with now. As he goes through the teleporter, picks up the yellow as well. Uh, Faz is looking very, very strong. Uh, Toxic hits a beautiful prediction rocket there. Lovely. Uh, Faz walked right into that one. And now Faz will just take another yellow. So Faz is actually getting every single big item on the map. He just took both yellows. He took the red and the mega previously. So can he now keep this going? If he can just keep running this control, Toxic has to keep coming to him. And oh, this is bad for Toxic. And this is the cycle of death. Like this is what happens. Like um, I, I can't remember. I think it was maybe Twister who talked about this quite a lot about toxicity. But beautiful railing there from Toxic. That was really the only answer. Hit some sick shots. That's what he did. Uh, he was he waiting for it. Amazing. Really nice blade. Up the jump, like up the jump pad with the rail. That is, you're putting yeah. so much pressure on yourself to hit that shot. If he missed that shot, he's looking at the game being over there because he would have given up a frag for free there, and Faz would have had time to the heal back up. But Toxic, with crazy risks, is bringing himself back into this game. Yeah, and that simple reel by Faz just denied the mega. 
Oh, lovely rock. Wow. Two direct and then the rail. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal okay. there. Faz cannot believe his eyes as that just happened. And it's still two frags with a minute and a half to go. Toxic with that ridiculous series of connections has now just made him his chance at winning this and putting it to a decider map. A reality right here on the road to DreamHack. This is live on Face It TV. We've got Faz here running around, probably desperately trying to avoid Toxic right now to try to stack up because now Faz is in a very poor position. But it's on Toxic to make this frag happen. He absolutely has to charge his way towards Faz or somehow catch Faz off guard. F can Faz read the traps from Toxic? Can Faz read how Toxic wants to engage, how he wants to get the frag? Can he do it? and can Toxic outsmart Faz. That's what this is all about right now. Here comes Toxic speeding around on the upper levels of Sinister, trying desperately. You can see how frantically he's looking all over the place here. He just needs to find Faz. Just where is Faz? Faz, if he dies twice. The game is tied here. He catches Faz here. Some good defensive rockets, but will they be good enough? Toxic manages to make the frag happen, but 55 health left remaining. The 25 pushes him up to 80. There's still oh, 30 seconds left, could though. could be bad. And where is Faz? Yeah, he's going to lose on both the items now. Toxic has all the weapons though, that's the only thing he has going for him and he can't challenge for this, Faz knows it, he has to back away. He's got, 20, he's got 15 seconds left in this match, he's got to find a frag, he's got absolutely no health. What can he do? This is an impossible situation. Can the great Toxic find his way out of an impossibility? It looks like, it's looking like no because Faz is surely too stacked, up the jump pad he goes but there it is, there's the buzzer and that's it. Faz has won, 2 to 0, he's taken Toxic down in a very, very awesome fashion. I don't know if anyone expected such an incredible display of shape, of smarts, of aim from Faz, but he has actually done it against Toxic there. And Toxic, it, it sounded again very much like we're saying, oh my god, Faz is amazing, Faz is amazing. But Toxic also played really brilliantly there. It's just quite phenomenal how much of an improvement Faz has made to his game. But I'm, I'm absolutely loving the future matches we're going to have with Faz, but also Toxic when we see him at DreamHack and hopefully next weekend for the next Sunday Cup as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> that was a hell of a match. Any, any thoughts? Uh, no, it was just amazing. Like, they were reading each other constantly. Like, and uh, Faz making gambles, Toxic reading the gambles and denying it. Yeah. And it was really amazing. I actually think for me that's... that's uh, one of my favorite matches I've seen in like the last few months. I don't know no. why, but I think, I think it's just because they're both aiming so well, the execution was so good, and like you said, they're reading each other. So yeah. I could see, okay, Faz was making smart reads, but Toxic was as well. And I guess they do have a lot of history, Faz and Toxic, in Quake 4 and Quake 3. Mm -hmm. So it's no surprise that they know each other. But guys, we'll go to a quick break. Um, if you enjoyed that match, and if you want to support us, you can actually subscribe on Twitch now. We're getting some fancy emoticons in there, some facey emoticons. I'm sure you guys would be loving those. Um, but let's go to a quick break. When we come back, we'll have more awesome, insane matches here for the Road to DreamHack live on Face the TV with me, DDK, and of course, Demon as well. We'll see you right after this.